If you currently work in the healthcare industry and are looking for a way to move into management, you may want to consider an MBA, which will improve your chances of doing exactly that. Even better if you find an MBA that offers a specialization in healthcare. There are a number of options out there, but in this video, I'll focus on some of the programs that give you good flexibility at a decent price point. And because of that, we'll be looking at the top online MBAs in healthcare, so stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here and welcome to my channel where I help you with career development and personal finance. So if those two topics are of interest to you, do make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new videos. So with that said, let's get to it. Let me first explain what it means to have an MBA in healthcare. An MBA, generally speaking, gives you a well-rounded business education. Many MBA programs also give you the option to specialize in a certain subject. All that means is that you take a few additional courses specific to that subject, and this is all in addition to the core curriculum. You may also see this referred to as concentrations. And when it comes to healthcare, you want to find programs that market specifically that they offer concentrations or specializations in healthcare, which allows you to better market yourself and your MBA in that field. So let's talk about a few of the options in the online MBA space. But before I do, I do want to make a quick note on the rankings that I will be referring to. As I go through the list, you'll see the global university rankings as reported by US News and World Report. I could have done MBA rankings, I could have done just online MBA rankings, just in the US. But because I get viewers from around the globe that are exploring different options, I chose global university rankings as a way for someone to compare these programs with maybe some other ones they might be exploring elsewhere in the world. And the university ranking, I decided to go that route because I find it a little bit more helpful as a gauge of the university's brand globally. Now this is the university itself and not necessarily specific to the business school. So with that said, let's get started. Number five is Western Governors University or WGU. Now I know I just made a big deal about the rankings that I use. So this one's a little bit of an outlier because it doesn't have a ranking on US News and World Report, but that's okay. Not an issue as the school has been around for a while at this point. And the business school is ACBSP accredited. In fact, it was one of the first online universities and it has a pretty interesting history. I did a more extensive video on WGU as a university, so do make sure to, if you're interested, Check out that video, I left a link in the description below that you can go take a look at. But short of it is, in addition to the standard MBA courses, you've got about two additional courses in healthcare management, which isn't much. You do of course then have a healthcare capstone at the end, but that's more of a project than it is learning. Now this could be a little bit more robust, but the reason I mentioned WGU is that the tuition model is on a per six month term instead of by credit hour. In this case, it's $4,500 per term, which means you have the flexibility of finishing this program fairly quickly if you're able and you'll spend less money. It's not unusual to finish the program in as little as a year, but two years is probably gonna be most likely, so expect the cost to be between $9,000 and $18,000. Coming in at number four is University of Massachusetts Lowell. This one to me is probably one of the more interesting options because the school is actually refreshing or adding a lot of new courses in spring of 22. And all the healthcare courses in particular appear to be refreshed where you have about five courses available. You're required to take healthcare management and then you choose two of the other four courses. Though, I'd imagine if you wanted to, you could take all of them if you pay the tuition. And these are all hyperlinks, so you can get more detail on what course contents look like. And when it comes to price point, best case scenario you can expect to pay is around $20,000. 
but there does seem to be a handful of foundation courses that you may be required to take which will add another 7,500. So even with that, it's still a really good value. Number three is Louisiana State University or LSU. This is a really great option as it is a well-recognized university, especially here in the South. There's a little less detail on healthcare management, but you've got three courses here covering a few different topics. And the price point is around 40,000, which is reasonable. It's about middle of the pack here on the list. And when you compare it to any traditional MBA or any on-campus MBA, it's still substantially less expensive. Number two is Purdue Global University. Here we're looking at one of the better recognized global university brands out there. At an approximate cost of 37,000, this is also a really good value. And with the concentration in healthcare management, you're looking at about four courses that cover operations, policy, marketing, and administration, which is actually pretty robust as most programs usually have three courses that are required. But healthcare aside, if you're looking at online MBAs to begin with, this one needs to be on your list. And number one is Penn State World Campus. Penn State has a really strong global brand and their online program is leveraging that quite a bit. There have been at some points in time some confusion as to whether Penn State World Campus is the same as Penn State. So same professor, same degree, same just about everything. Well, they appeared to have clarified that last year and the answer is Yes, which is great because it is a good school with actually a huge number of specialization options. One of which is healthcare, of course, where they offer three courses. There are some requirements, however, which is you either need to have an undergraduate degree in some healthcare program and or full-time work experience in healthcare for at least three years. Which, if you caught the early part of my video where I explain who this degree is for, you probably already meet that criteria. Cost of the program is a bit on the higher end of what's on this list, coming in at nearly $60,000. But for the brand and the flexibility that you get with an online program, this one is certainly worth considering. Now, of course, the list isn't fully exhaustive. It's just five of the programs that exist out there that I think were interesting and worth highlighting. If you have some that you recommend or you've actually completed some of the programs that I've mentioned, I would love to hear your feedback on what your experience was or what other programs you might recommend. So definitely leave a comment down below. And of course, if you got value out of this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, do make sure to check out my channel. I've got a lot of content on online MBAs, so not just specific to healthcare, but if you're at all curious, a lot of content there. So make sure to check that out. Hope this all helps. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.